Good morning. What you see here is the photo of North Korea's biggest ball bearing factory. There isn't an enemy vehicle that doesn't have parts made in this facility. This is why we're going to obliterate it today. Rust will take off with an eight ship formation at 0900 hours, regroup over the field at 3000 feet, then proceed to the target towards Love Peter Niner 1, climb into 18,000 feet. There is an enemy airfield nearby and those damn MiGs have been very active lately. So the 334th Fighter Interceptor Squadron will provide top cover for you, call sign Eagle. You can expect heavy flak, so try not to fly in a straight line for over a few seconds. Make sure your aim is true when you hit the factory smack in the middle. We don't want to send anyone else back there again. Now, off you go. Dismissed. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and uh, welcome back into the F-86 F Sabre as we continue the Hunters Over the Yalu campaign. Today we are tasked with blowing up a ball bearing factory to the northeast of our position. We are heading 033 degrees for 145 nautical miles. The factory nope, is right here covered by a couple of AAA defenses that we need to be on the lookout for as we begin our dive. And uh, that is what the factory looks like. So hopefully we'll be able to pick it out rather easily. Okay, enemy MiGs are taking off and forming up. We do have a escort flight. That is Eagle Flight. I do not have any visual on them just yet, however. Although I'm sure we will see their contrails soon enough. Other than that, we are just cruising on our designated heading. I'll keep you all updated. And of course, some of you probably already know this, but DCS had an update recently and they added new clouds, which we are currently flying through. They do look much better than the old clouds. They look pretty great. So uh, it's definitely cool to have. Control Eagle, 20 plus standards, 0, 1, 5 for 20, Angels 35. Copy that. 015. Angels 35. Eagle aircraft, keep your eyes peeled. Those bastards are near. Uh oh. I have contrail straight ahead. Uh, those are probably MiGs because our escort flight is right there. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this is going to be interesting. This is Eagle One. Let's Engage drop down. 20 plus, make south of the target area. 20 Eagle plus. Guns, switch on. Attack, attack. All right, good luck, boys. Let's just want to drop down so we're not having contrails. Okay, perfect. Back down to altitude. Look at them. Wow, that is crazy. That's insane. We're going to be doing that soon enough. I'm pretty excited. They're racing in. Yeah, I see them. Hopefully none of those MiG-15s drop down here and uh, try to mess with us. <laughs> that was very cool to see, actually. Oh, they're turning. Go get them. Wow. Should probably look at where I'm flying, but that's very neat. I'm excited for that. <laughs> Well, while they are fighting it out back there, we're going to kick it up and try to find this factory. It should be up ahead somewhere. It is just, there's so many little towns dotted here. And it's going to make it kind of difficult to pick out the correct target. It's a, uh, it has those little striped uh, chimneys. 
kind of gives it away. I wanted to report visual on the target. Look at all these buildings. I mean, this just makes it kind of... kind of difficult to pick out the appropriate factory we are supposed to bomb. Now that looks like a factory, but I don't see the chimneys. Mm -hmm -hmm. Could always check the F-10 map. You know what? I'm just going to do that. Let's see. We should be flying. should be over here. There it is. No. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, let's uncage our gun sight. I'm going to order everybody to begin their attacks. Flight. Engage. Mission target. And then rooster flight, engage primary target. Okay, let's throttle up. A lot of flak. And we dropped altitude kind of a lot. Let's uh let's adjust this gun sight real quick. Okay, so 40 degree dive angle. We're going to enter our dive around 15,000 feet above the target. Perfect. Okay. Let's see it. There's the factory. We'll swing around. Okay, what do we need to enter our dive at? 288 knots. Copy. It's our current speed. A little fast. Air brake out. Um, are those MIGs fighting? They're fighting right in front of us. Someone's up there. Okay, push over. Okay. Perfect. It's an easy. It's an easy. It's going to aim for the, the stacks there. Okay, they're shooting at us. Lovely. Okay, drop. Pull out. Don't black out. Throttle up. Air break in. Got hits. Beautiful. On something. I hit something. <laughs> I'll take it. Hit some trucks. There's all the, the sabers and migs. Let's climb back up. We'll let our flight engage their targets now. I'm not going back over there with all that flak. You gotta be out of your mind. Climbing back up. They should bomb the target here soon. And let's recage our gun sight, shall we? That was a pretty good bomb drop. And we need to keep our eyes peeled. They're all still fighting over there. Something exploded. Someone's going down. Okay, flag's pretty thick. Okay, they are going in. Go get them. Throttle back a little bit. Conserve fuel. And see the AAA guns down there firing. Just waiting for a big old explosion. There we go. Looks like they hit the factory. Lots of fires breaking out all around. Perfect. Good job, boys. And that factory is up in flames now. We'll let everyone drop their bombs. Just absolutely destroy it. Yeah, doesn't look good. Rooster to Boston Control. Our bombs are right on target. The factory is burning and we observe multiple secondary explosions. Heading home now. All right, perfect. Let's turn on home and get out of here. Good show. Flight. Rejoin formation. Flight. 
Join up. Eagle to Boston Control. The MiGs are headed north with their tail between their legs. We're low on ammo, returning to base. Bouncer to the left side, Pee Wee Reese up with it, no trouble, throws to Hodges, and there's your third out. So the Yankees fail to duplicate or come anywhere close to their first inning against Erskine of Wednesday. They go down 1 2 3. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left aboard. The score at the end of one half inning of play it's the New York Yankees nothing, the as yet to bat Brooklyn Dodgers nothing. It's Junior Gilliam leading off of the Dodgers in the last half of the first inning. Good afternoon, Major. Your orders just came through. You are being transferred. You've done a terrific job leading the 67th, but we can see that you were born a hunter, not a bomber. You've been given command to the 39th Fighter Interceptor Squadron of the 51st Fighter Interceptor Wing up of K-13 in Suwon. Pack your bags, say goodbye, then take your saber and fly over to K-13. They're expecting you by 1,800 hours. I can't tell you how grateful we are for what you did for the squadron. I'm sure you'll be sorely missed by the boys. Now go. Get as many red stars under your canopy as you can. Farewell and good hunting. Hey, Major. I don't want to get in front of the tower to see you off. Come back and take him out with the drive job, will ya? Roger that, Tower. Your wish is my command. Hold on to your head. Well, here we are, folks, in mission number six, and we are rebasing to K-13 up to the northeast. We are supposed to be heading 026, and it's a short hop, only 23 nautical miles away. And look at this weather. This is just phenomenal looking, I have to admit. The new clouds look really good, especially in these conditions. So I was just sitting here admiring it. Uh, we should be able to check in with K-13 relatively soon. All right, we can check in with K-13 on channel two, which we are set to. Let's go ahead and do that. K-13 inbound, five miles from the south from landing. Okay. Uh, space bar to accept the challenge. Roger, Dodger, you old Perfect. Okay, we will go ahead and swing around and come in for our landing. A couple of flybys today, not too bad. All right, nice and simple, nice easy relocation mission. Star on the side of Casey Jones' 